the only kind of cozers to be. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dirty Folk Podcast. I'm Max Mooseman, joined by my lovely wife, Harper the Fox. That's me. Hello, dear. Hello, love. Quick update for all our Dirty Folkers at folkers out there this is gonna D- be a long dirty episode it's gonna be a long episode if i can't even say our name <laughs> you ever wonder when you listen to me like am i getting on early onset alzheimer's i can't say that's occurred I, to me i listen to my voice when i'm editing these things sometimes and i'm like i don't feel like i always talked like that where like i can't mm. finish syllables you know, maybe this is where the, the frying pan smack comes in for the, the brain on drugs. It's uh, a little delayed, but maybe right. this is it happening. Yeah, that, I, that's crossed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a slow burn, but or it's Or maybe this is your brain happening. on sobriety. And this is like, I'm I'm betting on a podcasting career. By the time I'm 50, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so update for the Dirty Folkers. Yeah. Um, Oh, from our last episode, the Johnny Depp episode, Uh, for those of you who are on the email list, you'll see this, but for those of you who aren't, you can go join at dirtyfolk.com, and there's a couple uh, preview images up there of uh, the first Dirty Folk collectible Oh, fuck yes. Um, So it's uh, Johnny Depp with uh, his left hand attached to a super intelligent chimpanzee's asshole. Uh, There's some progress pics on uh, the... Uh, statuette i'll be making of... an elegant statuette <laughs> yeah for for your family mantelpiece <laughs> yeah so uh i'm maybe i don't know halfway through the digital sculpt at this point and that comes before we print and paint but if you want to follow the progress you can follow it there and if you might be interested in owning that uh you can um comment on the post or uh through the email list you can email us uh, once you're a, a member there for free, you can sign up and you can email us. Uh, and when it's all done, I'll make sure you personally know that it's available. If you might want to own this lovely piece of history of Johnny Depp fighting with a chimpanzee that is attached by the asshole to his left hand. And you would say this is historically accurate. To my movie. <laughs> to your movie. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was based on a true story. <laughs> Speaking of my movie. Yes. Uh, as you know, I write big movie scripts for big movie stars, mm-hmm. and I've got some kind of exciting, interesting news. Really? Yeah, it comes from a sort of unexpected place because I've I've been dabbling with a script that I, you know I didn't think it was anything special, no big deal. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about it, and then I'll tell you the exciting news. But uh, exciting news, unfortunately, comes with a small problem that I'm hoping you can help me with. Okay. Okay. So, uh, script it's like a just a pretty straightforward romantic comedy Mm -hmm. right so uh it's got jane she's an aspiring investigative journalist she's working for the post you know yada 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 it's the mid-2000s she wants to work in serious news division but it's relegated to the lifestyle section yada 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 she's assigned to do a puff piece on an up-and-coming tech genius named felon rusk (laughs) yada 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 she you know, she re- she resents the assignment. He resents her presence. She tries to dig up dirt on him, make it a serious piece. He tries to get her fired, yada, 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 yada. They fall in love. Pretty standard yeah. stuff, you know, overbearing boss, mm-hmm. trying to be an independent woman. Okay, so you wouldn't think, you know, not going to be a good movie, but it's not, like, incredible. But here's here's the exciting news. Okay. Morgan Freeman is interested no shit he wants to play felon rusk which he's a little older than i imagined felon rusk i expect sort of like a young up-and-coming tech entrepreneur but when morgan freeman wants in you let morgan freeman in he's a legend i mean he is a legend absolutely I... legend. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he is the male romantic lead in this that's what he wants yeah yep so he's got a couple demands uh beyond being the the romantic felon Fe- rusk yeah he wants to play felon rusk he he's really he's never as far as i know played uh an autistic character before and he's really <laughs> interested in playing a sort of mentally challenged although brilliant uh-huh right sort of rain man-esque yeah character you okay. know it's his time Every every great actor has to go retard at some point. I think so. So he wants to. 
Um, but he's got a couple other demands. So one is, and I thought this was an interesting choice, um, surprising, but he's interested in a young comedian uh, to play Jane. Mm -hmm. uh, the comedian's name is Donovan Crip Daddy. Um, Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, Donovan Crip Daddy is a sort of uh, youngish male crippled shock comic he's uh he's got kind of a giant head sort of that kind of crippled like giant head this arms don't work right this is the person to play jane yeah yeah uh and sexy uh, sweet investigative journalist jane played it's, by yeah it's a, I, do i have this right donovan crip daddy crip daddy i don't think that's his real last name but that's <laughs> <laughs> donovan the shot comic cripple isn't really yeah. named crip daddy he's at young crip comedy on uh twitter okay um crip okay so you were describing large P's. head sort of non-functional arms they really like, function you can like put something in his hand and it will stay there okay are we talking like t-rex arms yeah but i don't think they're short okay they're just you know they zig Does... when they should have zagged. Okay. Are they real skinny? Yeah. Like like his arms are starving, but the rest of him is okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I mean, I, I, it's, a, it's a fine choice. But, so that's, that's one of his demands. The other is um, that uh, he wants a really graphic sex scene. <laughs> <laughs> in the movie like how graphic are we talking uh he wants to show his dick i mean it's been a lot of years morgan freeman just wants the world to know definitively how big his schlong is yeah it's it's impressive you've seen it i've seen it okay yeah yeah he showed it to me he wanted to know that this wasn't a, like a, a joke okay that he, he thought the world needed to see it and that this was <laughs> in time. cinemascope <laughs> that's right so okay so he wants this graphic sex scene uh he insists that it's essential to the plot and that donovan plays jane um so now in like the fiction of my movie uh where a beautiful young idealist learns to love a brilliant and driven young scientist uh a graphic love scene you know it's not my first choice but it, it would have the ability to be both you know powerful and extremely sexy Mm -hmm. um however uh visually for my movie what i'm gonna have to work with is a uh, an elderly black icon humping a wheelchair bound <laughs> boy we've glued a wig to <laughs> so uh <laughs> is so I, I, i'm sure there's a way to make this hot but every time i storyboard it I get more of a horrifying vibe. No. <laughs> horrifying or sometimes guiltily hilarious. Okay. But it's a romantic comedy, but this scene is definitely not meant to be funny. How many positions have you tried in your storyboarding? Well, we're going to get there. Okay. Okay. So the thing I'm hoping you can help me with. Mm -hmm. If you had to shoot Morgan Freeman making deep, passionate love to a disfigured and wheelchair-bound cross-dressing shock comic, how might you make it sweet and sexy? Hmm. And I want to emphasize, Morgan's dick must be shown. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. My first impulse here is Morgan Freeman needs to use his dick in some way to assist young Jane with uh, with something that she, she, as a disabled person, is not able to do. She's not disabled in the movie. She's not. No, that's not in the script anywhere. So do you not see the wheelchair? How How does that work? Do you have, like, marionette style is... Is Donovan on strings? I, I think we'll do a lot of shooting from the collarbones up. Mm -hmm. We can modify the wheelchair, right? 
Mm -hmm. Uh, And then I think she'll just have to be sitting a lot. Okay. Most of the time. Laying down. Also Mm -hmm. an option. She just will never arrive at a restaurant. She'll just be at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Right? That seems very doable. If FDR could get away with being a cripple for his entire presidency and having people (laughs) not be sure, then Uh, we can do this in a movie. Okay. But so, because... Okay, what I feel, where I'm sort of leaning with this is, like, it has to be a sort of, like, you have to get to it right away. Like, the love scene has to lead with, like, a close-up shot of Morgan's dick. Because you get shocked and horrified if it if you ramp up to that in the scene, if there's like, it's all romance and right. And then we just, you start going down and you don't stop going down and you keep going down. And then there's like Morgan's glistening dick. Mm -hmm. Like you're going to get laughs or you're going to get screams. Mm -hmm. But if you're sort of like watching, like if, if Jane's like in his apartment and he doesn't know it yet, Mm Mm-hmm. And he's like walking out of the shower and just walks dick first into frame. Mm -hmm. That could work. How about this, though? So you said that Jane is working on like digging up dirt on him. Yeah. So what if and and like at this point, they've obviously the attraction is building. They're starting to fall in love. Yeah. A classic rom-com trope is there has to be some grave misunderstanding that is resolved. Okay. So she has stumbled upon uh, photographic evidence of, let's say, something that claims to be Felon Rusk. Yeah. Uh, raping goats. But all you Oof, see is... That's really dark. It's really dark. <laughs> but all you see is cock. It's It claims to be Felon, and it, it looks... <laughs> <laughs> it looks, it quacks, it sounds like... It's him. She thinks she has this terrible, terrible evidence. What? Is she stupid? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like, if I sent you a dick pic, just of my hard dick, and said, this is me raping a goat. <laughs> like, no, this is actual footage. Like, there's someone is actually doing this. Oh. Oh. So she has In hard my imagine evidence. It, you just, like, she is inferring goat rape from no, dick pics no 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 no. so no. there are goats you want me to have pictures of co- your answer to how to make this not horrifying I'm is to have pictures here. of cock <laughs> but you know okay as I, I i was at first i was flabbergasted and thought you were completely insane but what you're trying to do is you're trying to go further <laughs> into disgusting yeah. so when we ramp back to humans having sex with each other yeah, because your goal is for it. this scene to be sweet. Ah. So uh, the reason you have to see his cock is he has to prove to her, like, no, see, I have this distinctive cock tattoo or I have this mole <laughs> that proves I'm innocent. I am not a goat rapist. You love me. So we're going to show two cocks in this <laughs> romantic comedy. And one of them is raping goats. <laughs> I don't know if I can sell Morgan on we're going to show a cock raping, like an uglier cock raping goats to prepare the audience for your cock. I th- I feel like I'm going to have to come up with a better story. I don't know if they're going to show this in theater, but I guess these days they'll just stream it on HBO. Yeah. That's fine. No problem. If Morgan's on, who's going to question it? No. If I, he's on board? I do feel like fundamentally introducing fully visible human cock to a movie it's not a rom-com anymore like romantic drama maybe or like but i i don't feel like you can show dick in a rom-com and have it be a rom-com well i think he wants to you know expand the form and push genre boundaries yeah if he's gonna do something like this at at his advanced age he wants to innovate Mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, I think that's why he's chose Donovan. I mean, maybe he just wants Donovan to touch his dick. Could that be. Could be part of it is that he just really wants Crip Daddy to play with his dick. Right. 
I'm assuming that Crypt Daddy's going to be okay with this because it's a big break. It is. I haven't talked to him about it. <laughs> you haven't? No, we've never spoken. Okay. He doesn't know I exist. Um, but I'm just assuming, from what I gather, he does comedy mostly from like his childhood bedroom. He is of age, right? I don't know. Does Morgan care? I don't know. It hasn't come up. I assumed he was of age. Okay. He's on the internet. He's got a filthy mouth. <laughs> huh. <laughs> we're we're going to assume... His mouth's a... about to get filthier. <laughs> if he wants that check, it will. Yeah. <laughs> but you see what I mean? Like, I Because I feel like, you know, hair and makeup the way it is, we can make Crypt Daddy pretty. I'm not concerned about right. that so much. but Bright red lipstick, a nice kitten heel. Yeah, but you know, I just feel like I, it's it's a lot to fit in there. So, well, I'm also having a hard time with the I, I don't know how, the, the like the white haired, freckled, like clearly aged Morgan Freeman oh, yeah, no, going. He, it's whack. I'm a young tech it, well, entrepreneur. It's, it's waxed. It's waxed. What? Yeah. I don't know what that means. Oh, his dick. His dick and ball area. I'm not concerned about his cock looking young. I thought you said the white hairs. You weren't talking about his pubes? No. <laughs> what, what were you talking about? His head. <laughs> <laughs> Max. Why are you worried about his head in this scene? That's the least of my problems. His old balls are a way bigger problem than his head. True. You're going to have to hoist those up. But I'm just going back to fundamentals here of... You you you're already up against the challenge of this elderly man playing like a hot young tech entrepreneur. Yeah, I haven't seen Morgan for a while. He must really be up there by now, huh? I'm I'm shocked he's not dead. Yeah, I hadn't considered <laughs> that level of problem. We might need goat fucking to make this seem <laughs> To somehow make this okay, I Give really thought something you were else off, to talk about. But I just still have like uh, Shawshank Redemption Morgan Freeman in my head. But that's got to be that's I mean, going on thirty also years. Old in that, right? That's like thirty years ago, isn't it? Yeah, like because I was a young. Did you see the bucket list? No, he was fucking old in that, that's, and that was like it's been fucking, a while, right? I think I was in high school when that came out. <laughs> Man, maybe he's going senile. <laughs> I'm going to have to think about this movie. I mean, yeah, it, it is a thing with dementia, right? That you, you start to like regress in your memories. Yeah. So maybe, yeah, maybe he's in the mindset of like young 20s up and coming actor. And he's like, yeah, I can do this role. Man, I was really excited about this. Hmm. I'd hate to have to rewrite the whole thing. Do you think you could convince him to play the overbearing boss and no. show his dick as the overbearing boss? No. What am I going to have an autistic overbearing boss? There's too many autistic characters in one right, movie. Right, because he desperately wanted to to play an autistic character. Right. Hmm. Everybody can't be autistic in this movie. Could we do a thing along the lines of uh, Robin Williams' Jack? Where he, he's he appears old, but he's actually young. Oh. oh, oh! I like this twist. You, I think, have just stumbled across the answer. <laughs> we convinced the audience that this is a disability, <laughs> right? And it's a fantastic disability. It's a crazy disability, mm -hmm. a la Jack. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that takes eyes off of Crip Daddy's disability. Mm -hmm. And and now for for Felon Rusk's <laughs> disability, the prettiness <laughs> level of Jane makes sense. Yes. All of a sudden. Yeah. Oh my he's, god. He's reaching for, for Jane. That's right. <laughs> She's very interested in his company right. space Y. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're implying. <laughs> Space Y is a great name. It really is. For like a bar. <laughs> it's the opposite endeavor. Um, and there can be a really romantic moment where he looks into your eyes and goes, there's this space between us. Why? Terrible. Why? Is there this space? Yeah, no, I get it. Don't you gonna keep hammering this one? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's not coming back. You want to touch my rocket? <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now, and now the awkwardness and horribleness of the sex, it's maybe Jane should be a little bit disabled. Because now it's kind of beautiful, over. right? Like Benny and June. Yeah. That's a romantic comedy. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, this was a thing. I feel like in the like 90s and 2000s, there was just a rash of like fucking retard movies. Let's call them what it is. <laughs> and in several of them. R-rated. <laughs> <laughs> and in several of them. A fully functioning adult yeah. fucks a severely mentally handicapped what? person. Which ones? Okay. Uh the one that I what vividly part of remember. Benny and June are you remembering? <laughs> okay, right no, now? this is not Benny and June. The one that I vividly remember is a movie called Pumpkin. Oh, uh, do you yeah, remember that? Because my girl's in that one. Which girl? Is uh, that Christina, Christina Ricci? Ricci? Oh, is that her? pretty sure okay i just remember okay so the the chick in that movie fucks the the handicapped dude and the dude's mom catches them in the act and i remember the mom chases her out of the house yelling whore slut prostitute <laughs> yeah okay um, that's one i don't know if that qualifies as a rash <laughs> of fully functioning adults i might be inventing retarded i think I'm recalling the movie I Am Sam. I don't know if they fuck. Who but fucks there's romantic Sam? Nobody tension. Fucks Sam. Who? What? The, the lawyer, right? The like young, beautiful lawyer. Isn't there romantic tension? Not I might that have I invented recall. that. Anyway. But yeah, Pumpkin was really uncomfortable, but Benny and June is not. Because no, they're it's sweet. It's beautiful. Yeah. Because they're both like mostly there. But, like, they got some issues. Okay. And they find each other, and it's beautiful and lovely. I think you've saved this movie. Wow. I appreciate your help. That was really good. You're so welcome. All right. I can't wait to see this movie on the big screen. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. That big HBO scream streaming. <laughs> Screen. Hopefully it goes through. You never know with these things. There's lots of lots of hoops. That's right. Um, hey, if you're not signed up for the free email list, get over there and sign up. It's at dirtyfolk.com. You get behind the scenes content, bonus content, sometimes bonus episodes. Uh, and for if if it's if it's currently now, <laughs> when you're listening to this, is it currently now? <laughs> And the email. I'm starting to think you do have early onset Alzheimer's. <laughs> and, and the email has a, uh, a couple pictures of the in progress pics of the first, uh, uh, the first Dirty Folk collectible, which featuring uh, Johnny Depp uh, fused to a chimp's asshole. Yes. Um, so please go take a look at that. Let us know what you think. Also. Uh, give us an awesome rating wherever you're listening to this episode yes please apple rate. spotify whatever uh whatever it's the most super fast to do whatever the most stars are give us that five of them or more there you go uh i'm max moosman i'm only fans notorious harp of the fox <laughs> getting that in there yep Slip slide it in, it there. in. Yep. i definitely don't want you to go look at that gross what are you thinking yes whore <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Slut. <laughs> Prostitute. I, I think that launched itself in my brain and has made me what I am. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.